Okay, and another room that's about to get completely reorganized. This is the parents' retreat off of uh, our bedroom. That's why it's called the parents' retreat. And it kind of became, it wasn't actually this bad. This is because I moved a bunch of stuff in here trying to take it out of another room. But it kind of started to become a catch-all too. I've got a reloading table in this corner, which was previously out in another room, and we decided we'd like a little more privacy with it. Um, then over in this corner, that's uh, my spinning wheel in the very corner that's covered. A um, couple of sewing machines, um, some sewing stuff and knitting stuff and more stuff for my spinning. And then um, Ronnie's beer making stuff and his current beer project. Um, our two emergency bags came in here. They are usually not in here either, but we had a bunch of company over Christmas, so they ended up being put in here to um, so that they'd be out of the way. Rearranged the family room, which caught another table in here, so that will be going also. And um, then this is just uh, emergency water that we keep on hand. So this room also used to have the baby's playpen in here, but he's um, <laughs> too big for the playpen now. He's 15 months old, so he doesn't really stay in it. And um, so we're moving him into a bed. We had purchased him a bed a while back, but we'll wait until he was old enough. So it part of it is in here, and part of it right now is out in the living room. So that's just the beginning of what is happening. And then all this stuff right here is stuff out of my pantry in the back. I just currently stuck it on the couch and um, some other stuff out of the pantry. I'm just, stuff is getting put everywhere right now. It's like you have to disorganize in order to organize. So um, I'll take you back into the pantry and show you what we're facing there. Okay, this room is actually a full bedroom and it was once um, our daughter's room and they're all, you know, very well grown and of course have kids now so we want to turn this room which became a pantry I grind my own wheat so I I buy wheat in bulk and I keep it in um, buckets <laughs> buckets yes that's what I keep it in buckets so um, and then of course I can a lot so we have you know canning stuff here and then you know I'm one of those people that if it's on sale I buy it while it's on sale because I don't like to pay full price for stuff I'm just don't like to do that so got to be organized back in that corner right there is all my a lot of canning jars and stuff that need to be organized properly also so all all of this yes take a look at this all of this minus the freezer which will stay it'll be moved over into the far corner all of this is going to be coming out of this room. Um, some of the wheat and stuff that in the buckets will be put out into the shed and um, it'll, it'll be fine there because um, it's not like we're keeping it for a hundred years or anything. It does get ground up so that'll be fine. Um, and then I have like buckets of sugar from, you know, if I find good sugar on clearance, um, then I, I've got buckets of that too. And that's all fine. It's all, it'll be fine. It doesn't need air conditioning. It doesn't go bad. It doesn't have an expiration date. So that's all good. So I'm going to move some of that stuff out into the shed, but we're putting shelving in the shed to make sure that that stays organized also. And then this shelf right here has became become a catch-all for sewing and knitting stuff and then all that up there is like quilt tops from my grandmother that I never even got them quilted so time for those to either be quilted or put into a box and mark that they need to be quilted because they really don't need to be taking up space in here so and leftover quilting stuff and this closet will remain the same but we'll put a lock on the closet so baby won't be able to go in there and play around. Okay. The uh, only progress I've made so far is that I can actually walk in here right now because I moved all that stuff out and I've cleaned this cabinet off. So 
Um, this an old antique cabinet I've had for years and like I said became a storage place also. So it's going to take some real organizing to get this cleaned out, but I got to get a move on. Okay, we've made a little bit of progress. Right now it's all stacking out into the living room and dining room. But got to get it out of there so that I can arrange it to where I need it. But this is really taking over. It's amazing how much we can manage to squeeze into a small area sometimes. So let's go see what the previous pantry looks like so far. Oh, hadn't even touched those shelves yet. Still got all this to go, plus what's back there. Still have all that to go. And still have all of this to go. Ah, uh, yeah. Definitely got my job cut out for me. Okay, the living room has gotten worse by the minute. It's hard to believe this was all on shelves in there. I must have done some really good compressing to get all that stuff on those shelves. But this is what all was in there, so some of this has been set aside, separated, because it's going to be sold. And um, like I said, some's going to go out in the shed. And other stuff is going to just be organized if I actually do need it. So um, let's go see what the room looks like, though. Yeah, and the trail leads all the way into the bedroom. Okay, so those shelves are completely empty now. The entire floor, well, the center is empty. That whole corner is empty now. This I'm getting ready to pull out. So basically we have half a room and we still have all this to go. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Okay, so <laughs> got all the shelves from this side out. They're in the other room. This is the closet that previously had two shelves. Um, all of that's out. It just has wheat now. And um, all numbered. Very easy to see which order to use them in. And this is the last shelf that I am tackling right now. Once I have this shelf out, then we hit this corner, but this shelf will be the major thing here. And I didn't mention that this is actually, I guess, day 2.2, .2 because I did a couple of hours yesterday, but not really a lot. But that's the three shelves that were previously in the back room. All nice orderly dated so I'm, I'm really liking how easy that is um, I've got stuff sitting around still because the shelf isn't moved and Burr's complaining about something and um, got some my sewing stuff down here and this is all Ronnie's beer making stuff so he'll probably have the next two shelves and then the big shelf is going to come out this way this big entertainment center will come out we don't have um, TV anymore. We have a TV, but we don't have anything connected to it. Haven't had it for quite a, a long time now, and um, this TV has not even been turned on in years. So it will be sold, and uh, like I said, all this stuff will be cleaned out. It is amazing how much a single she uh, shelf, and that's a big shelf, but it's amazing how much it held. I mean, all this stuff came from here. And I tell you what, the Shelf Reliance, um, Thrive Shelf Reliance, Shelf Organizers, Can Organizers, those things are the best. They, I mean, they just make life so easy. Throw it in on the top, comes out on the bottom. No worrying about trying to reach into the back and sort things. And one of the things I did in the um, other room where I put the two shelves, I put them back to back so that I could get stuff from both sides and that way I can always make sure and put stuff in on the back side get it out of the front side so um, before here because it was against the wall before I had those shelf organizers and for everything that I didn't have the shelf organizer for I constantly had to pull stuff forward and stick it in the back or lift it up and put it on the bottom and that gets to be a lot of work when you go grocery shopping so um, anyway uh, 
here's where we're at right now. These things here, the um, some of the stuff is going to be donated to the church for when they do their banquets and stuff. And that's just extra mixing bowls. Those will go in the other room on the top shelf. So then this shelf will be moved over into the other room too.